I am at your service, Captain. <laughs> we have it. Go ahead. Do the honors. It fits. Energy spiked a bit, but it's restabilized. Is there anything new showing up? No, it's the same as before. There's a massive output as the artifact is added, then it harmonizes. Like it's waiting for the others. Hmm, that's speculation, but I think you're right. We need more. Here. You've earned this. Welcome to Constellation. As a full member this time. Honestly, this just makes it more official. Call it right person, right place, right time. But once the artifacts started coming together, you were one of us. We're going to do great things together. All of us. By the way, how would you like to keep traveling together? I'm not sitting behind my desk for this. These artifacts are a new chapter for Constellation and I'm going to be out there for it. And I want you out there as well. You got results. <laughs> I need someone like you watching my back. Oh, we'll be working with everyone here at the Lodge sooner or later. Constellation is all in on this. Sometimes we'll partner up, sometimes we'll go solo. It's not a formal arrangement. We just came back with good news. We've got momentum. Why not keep going? All right. We've got a few more leads we should talk about. First, there's an expedition that Sam Co has been putting together. It's in Freestar Collective Space, and he knows it inside and out. There's also the Eye, our star station in orbit. About time for you to meet Vladimir. He's been hard at work tracking down more anomalies. And last but not least, Noel. Have we heard anything from Barrett yet? A courier from Argos Extractors came by to let us know they're packing up the operation on Vectera. But that's it, no other word. Mm, that's not good. We should get over there and check on Barrett in person. His mind is always somewhere, but there's no arguing his knack for being in the right place at the wrong time. Oh, too bad he couldn't see the artifacts coming together. But knowing him, he'll be so excited when he gets a look, it won't occur to him that he's missed anything. We maintain a star station in orbit above us. It's where we do all our deep space scanning. Vladimir runs the station. Brilliant astronomer. Years of practical experience. Maybe another time. I cannot wait to meet her. It's been ages since Constellation said someone new. I wonder what she's like. And you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. Whoa. I know a few dark sides of the Aquila moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons, well, I'm gonna fall asleep before you do. Trust me. Don't encourage him. Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. Nice to meet anyone brave enough to fly the frontier. Know a thing or two about spacecraft, do we? Hey, don't spook our new friend. Frontier's a fine ship. Honest. Now, let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? I feel the same. They always get antsy, planet side. The three of us are heading to Aquila, for a settled planet of the Free Star Collective, and, not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city's spaceports, but the frontier is our goal. It's a rough country. Spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing. Artifact. A 
Okay. We'll meet you on board your ship. Talk more when we get there. Once we land on Aquila, it's gonna be you and me. So if you want to do any freewheeling before then, Cora and I will just be riding passenger. The city reminds me of neon, with the wealth planted in the middle and the poor at the periphery. All right, we're here. You ready? 
Because once we get started, I'm gonna be riding your tail till this is over. There's uh, something you should know up front. I'm a co. As in Solomon Co, first man on Aquila. That tale I mentioned before, the one I think is connected to an artifact, it's something of a family legend. After Planetfall, Solomon spent years mapping Aquila, and he found a tiny little patch of nothing on his senses. The kind of nothing an artifact produces. He called it the Empty Nest. Said it was a place even the wildlife of Aquila wouldn't go. Solomon's maps are locked up tight in the local gal bank. We'll be heading there. Fear and exhaustion are taking a toll. They're not thinking straight. That puts us in a very precarious position. I appreciate your idealism, but there were only ever two ways this could end. You've already ruled out one of them, so that leaves us with only one option. We have to free the hostages by taking out their captors. Problem is, they're keeping me and the guards in sight at all times. If we try to move against them, they'll see us coming. You'd be willing to do that? You've got guts, that's for damn sure. I can't deny that you're right, though. They might not see that coming. Now, I see two ways we can play this. You could ask to see the hostages. Once you're inside, you can make your move. If you're quick, I think you can take them out before they have a chance to respond. But you'll have to shoot to kill. There's also a back door. Most of their attention's focused out front here, so they may not be watching it as closely. This key should unlock it. Please, stay calm and let our security forces do their work.
says that spacers and the fleets are to Thank you for saving my husband. I heard the fight. The hostages, are they safe? That's, that's good to hear. Those people aren't just citizens of the Free Star Collective, they're like family. We all are. As for the Shaw Gang, we'll grieve for them too. Here, you've more than earned this. You got us out of a tough spot and you did it with courage that's not common. As a matter of fact, you might just be Free Star Ranger material. If you're interested, head on over to The Rock and ask for Emma Wilcox. She handles the new recruits. has a few different deposit boxes secured in here, so here's a copy of the key. Okay, now remember, Solomon was from an earlier generation, so it's not going to be on a slate. Big bundle of paper is what we're after. You gotta drop some of that. Oh no. Jacob. Of course that old mule saw this coming. There we do. I was hoping to avoid the estate when we landed. Cora's gonna be so mad. We really gotta do this. <sighs> Maybe. And why do you have to be so pushy, huh? I'm talking. You'll find out soon enough, okay? Let's just get going. decides to darken our doorstep again. You know why I'm here. Oh? What's that? You come to your senses? Realize where you ought to be for once? I ain't asking again. You ain't asked once. Let's hear it. I want you to say the words about what's more important to you than family. Okay, this was a mistake. The only mistake I'm seeing here is you. Bringing your constellation lackey here instead of my granddaughter. Come to help Sam loot his ancestry? You're not getting those maps. Full stop.
I got just as much right to those maps as anyone else in this family. That's exactly right, Sam. We all share Solomon's legacy. Only some of us are around to live up to it, and some of us aren't. All right, that's enough. Come on, let's you and I talk in private. Hmm. Welcome home, Sam. Make your visit short, okay? It's what you do. Give me a sec. <sighs> All right, let's talk options. No, no, no. I mean, this is no place for her, okay? The less time she spends with Jacob, the better. I just, I made a decision a long time ago about how my little girl gets raised. And it doesn't include Jacob Cole, okay? Leave it at that. Damn it. Fine, fine, fine. We'll, we'll go get her. I just, if there's any other options, I'd appreciate doing those first. safe here while you're doing whatever it is you're gonna do. Fine. Hand them over. Don't worry about me. Hanging out at the estate is great. Alright. Let's see if we can find the empty nest. Alright, let me think. The way I heard it, the readings he was getting were normal at first, then they bottomed out. And no creature, alien or otherwise, would dare step inside. There. Found it. Oh, boy. <sighs> That's a problem. First, it's in the middle of the frontier, which we already expected. No problems there, but the usual tussling with alien wildlife. But the empty nest is a cave right in the middle of Shagang territory. Same outlaws who held up Galbag. Well, just remember, it's about the artifact, not them. Hurting bad guys puts a smile on your face, that's a bonus. Let's get to that cave. Go for it. 
bet Cora's already finished the pre-flight checklist. That's my girl.
smugglers about? Sometimes they're friendly, or close to it. I think that's far enough. Hate to put a hole in the head of Aquila's own prodigal son. At least not before we've had a word. You must be Shaw. What I am is disappointed. Samco in the flesh and he's peddling around the frontier with the has-beens of Constellation. Now you got past my crew, who I pay quite handsomely, I might add. Grabbed something from that weird cave. Probably whatever's been keeping the Ashto away. So, I'm down one hideout. Now, let's talk about what all that's worth to me. Your lives, your credits. One or the other, really. Oh, really? Let's hear it. I prefer my enemies six feet under. Ties up loose ends. Huh. The Shaw Gang's name in print outside a wanted poster does sound nice. <laughs> so what? By morning tomorrow, we're gone anyway. Sick of trading words with you. Kill them! You are satisfied with the quarters available to you. Is anyone hurt? You didn't let Cora handle the artifact, did you? We don't know what effects it might have on someone hurt. Just, what are we building here? I haven't picked up any kind of frequency or signal coming from it. That doesn't mean much. This thing could be emitting something we can't even detect. 
As far as we know, we could be building a gigantic bomb that will blow up as soon as we finish it. Or maybe it's some kind of interstellar children's toy. Why would either of those things give the Discoverer visions and music? It's a message. I'm sure of it. We just have to hope that finding more of the pieces will give us some clue. I hear that. Moving forward sometimes means fumbling around in the dark. I think Cora and I can use some downtime, but you let me know if you ever want to team up again. Oh, and since it tends to come up, me and my Rugrat co-pilot work as a team. That's non-negotiable. If I'm coming with, that means Cora's on your ship. Likewise, you know where to find us. It's been quieter around here since one minute. Feel free to help yourself. I don't drink, but I feel like if I did, now would be a good time. Get this shit moving. 